And in keeping with the observance of Drug Awareness Month, the Ministry of Health is calling on Dominican society to limit the quantity of alcohol they consume, especially during the carnival celebrations. One of the mandates of the Ministry of Health is to constantly educate the public on ways to maintain a healthy population and regards prevention as one of its core strategies to combat the use of alcohol and, by extension, drugs. Acting Director of the National Drug Abuse Prevention Unit, Martha Javis, and Acting Coordinator of Health Promotions, Mignon Rose Schillingford, both presented the effects of alcohol from two different approaches. Rose Schillingford presented the health repercussions of consuming too much alcohol, while Javis informed on the social effects of the drug. In terms of long term, um, we can maybe look to things like the liver, mm -hmm. its effect on the liver, right. and what is the function of the liver, of course, is, a, is responsible for detoxication. This means that whatever we take in, whether it is toxic or not good for the body, the liver has the responsibility of breaking it down and helping in elimination of that substances. Now, if you're continuously causing that level of inflammation, because we say alcohol causes inflammation, inflammation yes. Of the liver, mm -hmm. of course, we're going to get what we call hepatitis mm -hmm. or also fatty liver. And fatty liver, just as the name predicts, is fat being deposited in the liver. This means it will not able to do the job that it would normally do of detoxing. Mm -hmm. Okay? So alcohol is a toxic plus all of the um, foods we eat may have some form right. of toxic. We are ingesting that and the body is unable to function. The liver is unable to function. Another organ it affects very seriously is the pancreas. And according to Javis, the dysfunction of the family unit by any means directly affects society. We see where one person becomes an alcoholic, mm -hmm. how it impacts the family, mm -hmm. especially when the person is the main breadwinner. Mm -hmm. So we see a loss in. Um, the family's income because if you can no longer function um, as a breadwinner, mm -hmm. you lose your job, you're not able to go to work on time, mm -hmm. um, you see that you might be fired, well, you might be fired, eventually you're fired mm -hmm. from your job. So you see the family losing an income, right? Mm -hmm. And that has a, a spiral effect. So you have um, family members having to revert to public illegal activities in order to survive. Survive. You have the loss of, of your utilities, loss of your home if you have a mortgage. So you see economic um, distress um, taking place in the family. You also have domestic violence taking place because persons who are alcoholic tend to become very aggressive. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. so you have persons being victims of domestic violence, both the parents and the children. Meantime, Jarvis indicated that the sale of alcohol to minors is becoming an increasing concern for the ministry. Although it's against our law under the Liquor License Act, it's illegal to sell to minors. Yes, it is. But I don't think it's ever been enforced. Yeah. If it has been enforced, it's a hush hush thing. It's not something that we really know about. It's also illegal to sell to persons who already do yeah. their right. job. Right. And yet, I would say I have my quota to sell, mm -hmm. I need to make my money, I don't care who comes in front of me, mm -hmm. I'm going to sell, sell alcohol mm -hmm. to them. So, and not only that, our society, it's part of our culture. Whether we want to say it or not, you know, it's the part of our culture. We, we go to the fets, we go to the festivals, and if there's no alcohol, there's no party, yeah. you know. <laughs> And they also urged the public to drink responsibly ahead of a carnival celebration in the coming weeks. Also making our head.